I'd have to literally pick the overall and then we'd look through the top 20 riders plus some guys that got injured. Like how difficult is it this day and age to pick sort of race winners? Hey, come on then. You're like super embedded in the sport. Um, in your mind, who should we be keeping an eye on this season across the different uh, disciplines? Different, Sorry, different categories. Shucks. It's, some, category, it's a tricky you question, you, eh? You've hit you hit me hit me uh, just before I've done my prep for the for the season coming up. You might have started yours. <laughs> Not, no, honestly, I haven't yet. Actually, yeah, I was, yeah. I was so like, can, if I ask him this, he's going to ask me, who do I think? But yeah, yeah you're it's, like it's a tricky. dangerous question because yeah. it's coming back. Shucks. Um, so I enjoyed watching some of the race tapes because it's kind of rejoring my memory. I don't know if you have this. I'll make notes. I'll do the review podcast. And you ask me two weeks later who won the race. I'm like, That's age, mate. Know. That's age. Yeah, it's an age. Okay, <laughs> it cool. gets worse. I'll use that excuse. Yeah, I'll use that excuse. But you ask me who won it in 2010 at this venue, I'm probably going to be better. Yeah, it's <laughs> age. But um, yeah, I was, I was super interested to see Jackson uh, this year. But now we're obviously not going to see him because of the yeah, knee injury. Yeah, feels like but that, to yeah. Me, to that first year, there's a lot less expectations. But now if you get second with a flat tie in Andorra, mm-hmm. I mean, the only one way is up. You know, everything else is certainly going to feel like you went a little bit backwards. And, and he even said that, you know, from here, I've got to probably aim a little bit higher. So now you've got the expectations of potential and overall. You won two races. What's the next goal? It's an overall. So you start the first race thinking about the overall. That's probably a little bit tough. Mm-hmm. Um so that's interesting. As far as like at the top pointy end, like Amory, Amory's had such shit luck. You know, he seems healthy and strong, right? Uh, like I said, I haven't deep dived into to all the top riders, but I think hopefully Amory's going to be back. Yeah. Loic's going to be strong. You know, there's a question mark every year. It's like Loris. <laughs> like, is it yeah. because we all just think he's so talented that we all just put this expectation on him? And, and downhill racing is so difficult to get it good and get it consistent. Yeah, um, often the fastest rider on track in practice, or at least looking the fastest rider. He's so talented on a bike, but it just and he's led the overall right, but it just doesn't quite seem to come together for him in a season yet. No, and it's it's I say it about Gwyn. Like Gwyn's a victim of his own success. When you're so good, you can't not even allowed to get second anymore. Like it's kind of unfair. But we're bench race pundits now, so we get to just. <laughs> say what everyone is thinking you know oh what happened and maybe that happens with loris as well he is so talented you expect so much from him but downhill doesn't work like that you don't win a downhill race on paper yeah and you don't it's not in like tennis where you got five sets so if you have a problem in the first two sets like the cream will rise to the crop to the top maybe in downhill by the end of the season the cream will rise but not in a race, right? Mm. Like you could, you know, if you're not quite on your game. But um, did you see how well Ethan did at that uh, I was, pre-race? I was going to say Ethan, like we saw that That's Monson cool. and run and then we saw him beat Loic and uh, Loris at that early season race by a, a fairly healthy margin on a short track as mm. well. So, And he's very I mean, analytical, very process orientated, very like he's got an older head on his shoulders, I think. So that would be interesting. That'd be very interesting. You know, I haven't got to know him too well, but this year probably a little bit better if I sneak to some of the races and he's and he's obviously under the Scott Scott tent. I'd have to literally pick the overall and then we'd look through the top 20 riders plus some guys that got injured. Like how difficult is it this day and age to pick sort of race winners? Andy yeah. Cole, he's coming into his own. Yeah. Charlie Hatton, okay, so he's done the World Champs jersey. He's kind of now had the curse breaking himself. So like... Okay, so can he bounce back? Um, and then obviously Greg Minard, like how fired up is he to go out the way he wants to go out now? You know, that's what he needs. He needs yeah. this underdog. He's got this new bike. I like when people go to a new bike because I know from myself, it forces you to ride down your more. It forces you to get in tune with the bike. If you've got a bike for the last 10 years, you, know, he's, you can test and you can tweak. But I, I sometimes maybe you go through the motions a bit, but you got okay. a new bike. You got to you you know I think you're forced to really do some good work on it. And I'm just speaking from my personal experience. Yeah, is when yeah, you change teams is like an added motivation. It's like yeah. going on a holiday. Yeah, and you know Greg will put the work in, right? That's Greg. 
Yeah. So who are we missing? Who who you uh, now? That we're like we need to be honest with our listeners. We haven't done our <laughs> prep yet because this is just a podcast, not about the full race season. But um, I'm, I'm intrigued to see like how to yeah South Benoit gets on. I think like true that breakthrough result has been a while coming, and then often the confidence that comes from that um, drives through. I think Dakota Norton on that new Mondraker is not hanging That's about. That's a great and, point. And Ronan, to be fair as well. Ronan and Dakota are going to be pretty dangerous this year. Yeah. Dakota yeah, Ronan's sure. hardline performance was pretty insane on the old bike, which he said himself is not as fast as the new bike as well. True. Yeah, Ronan, super excited to see that. Um, yeah, that's one of these younger crop of riders where, you know, it's kind of reminds me of Danny back in the day. Uh, and speaking of that, so yeah, Dakota, yeah, I had fascinating chat to him, and I, I think this is just giving him more self belief, um, which he's probably battled with. He said in the past, mm -hmm. like I think he now knows he deserves to be there. He firmly believes it, um, and the the factory support's going to be good. Then Danny Hart, is he going to have a chip on his shoulder? <laughs> because just with the industry cycle and where we are, he's he's moved on from his old team. Um, the bike's proven because Ethan had a great race on it. So that's actually really good for him. Yeah. So that's, this just, yeah, we'd have to big up, bring up the the list and we could go through it, but it's going to be exciting. Um, it Definitely. really is. There's lots of stories going into, to the soft season. A lot of team changes. Like, yeah. Literally out of left field. You're like Greg's not on Santa Cruz. Like that, <laughs> you couldn't have guessed that. 